This is so wonderful. This is so wonderful. Thank you to Coach Fight. He's such a good promoter of chess in our area. You know, when I first when I first got into chess, I was teaching my son. Uh, he was sitting on my lap as I played chess. And all we did was play chess all the time, and I thought that when my son went to school, I wanted him to go to a school that had a chess program. And so I remember going online, searching for a chess program, and I found out about Duffield Academy where Coach Fight was coaching. And I said, my son is going to go to that school. He's not going to do running and jumping, like usually the African-American community do. I want him to do something with his mind. Uh, once he got to that age, I think Coach Fight left, and he went to, I think, Washington Parks Academy. And I, I looked on there and I said, well, I, didn't, I couldn't afford Washington Parks Academy at that point. <laughs> so I went on ahead and went with the best academic institution I could find, which was Detroit, Spain. Okay. And uh, at that time, Spain didn't have a chess team. Uh, uh, it was a lady, Miss Webb, who started one. And my son wanted to join. She told me that your son can't join because he's too young. And I said, no, my son can play. Because in chess, it doesn't matter how big you are, how tall, how skinny, if you're a woman, if you're a man, you use your brain. Okay? And that's what's so special about chess. I also want to give thanks to our director of chess for the uh, Detroit City Metro League. Anthony Lacey, please give him a hand. <laughs> Mr. Lacey gave me the reading material I needed to start. If it wasn't for him, I would not be coaching, I would not be playing. If it wasn't for Mr. Lacey. <laughs> and also to my friend Glenn Barnett, because I heard he had nine state championships and I want to beat his record. <laughs> so without him, without him to strive for, he should be in the Hall of Fame, by the way, also. Okay? Without him to strive for to be the best, I wouldn't have any success where I'm at now. Um, you know, one time my son, when he was first started playing chess, he, he told me, he said, Daddy, you don't have any chess trophies. You know, I have chess trophies, you don't have any trophies. And, <laughs> and he made me a trophy out of an uh, empty tissue roll, uh, a Fago bottle, a couple of uh, Dixie cups, and a Dove soap container. And he put, he put number one dad on the uh, bottom of the trophy. And I put that on the mantle right with all of his trophies and put my one little trophy on the mantle. And uh, I just appreciate getting this trophy because this trophy means a lot to me because it is a trophy for helping kids get trophies. Okay. Thank you.